from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen. Your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. An update on the Libby Mill Midtown development project. Abigail Spanberger learns who her opponent will be in November and a hidden gem in the near west end. We'll have details about those stories and more in today's Henrico News Minute for Monday, July 20th, 2020. It's brought to you today by Henrico Area Mental Health. And now for the news. Well, after a three-month delay, Republicans in Virginia's 7th Congressional District on Saturday chose Virginia Delegate Nick Freitas of Culpeper to be their nominee to face incumbent Democrat Abigail Spanberger in the general election this November. Freitas earned the nod during a day-long event by outlasting five other challengers, including Delegate John McGuire of Henrico, whom he defeated 56% to 44% in the third and final ballot of the day to claim the nomination. Thousands of people showed up to cast their ballot for the in-person convention, which took place outside the district at Meadow Event Park in Doswell. The first ballots were cast by 11 a.m., but the third round of balloting didn't conclude until 7.30. Freitas won all three rounds comfortably, earning 43% in the first round. McGuire was second with 25%. And almost 47 percent in the second round when McGuire was next with about 25 percent again. At the end of each round the lowest two vote getters were eliminated from consideration. Freitas has made news for twice in two years failing to turn paperwork in in time. Last year he had to win as a write-in candidate to reclaim his 30th district house seat and earlier this year he failed to submit paperwork for the general election this year but was granted a reprieve along with several other candidates who had failed to do so as well when the state board of elections voted to allow them to have more time to file that paperwork. In 2018 Freitas sought the Republican nomination to run for Senate but lost to Corey Stewart. Well have you visited the Gambles Mill Echo Corridor yet or do you even know where it is? If not, you'll want to check out HenricoCitizen.com today and read about this new hidden treasure in the near West End. Although the corridor's grand opening ceremony has been delayed by COVID-19, the corridor itself and pedestrian walkway are still open to the public and they've been getting a lot of good use lately. Just five years ago, the trail, which formerly was a road that ran between the Country Club of Virginia golf course and the University of Richmond campus, saw only occasional use by runners or by biology classes doing some field work. A community garden established in 2009 was not universally accessible and the trail was frequently unusable. But officials from the University of Richmond began their effort to rehabilitate the corridor in 2017 by eliminating a number of invasive species that had grown in the area. One way they made that happen was by bringing in goats who are voracious eaters. Afterwards, the staff at U of R planted native plants and grasses and wetlands began to take shape and now fish, birds, amphibians, and even deer frequently visible in the corridor. Visit HenricoCitizen.com and click Community to read an in-depth piece by our Patty Krzyzewski about the Echo Corridor. As we all strive to do our part during this extraordinary time, Henrico Area Mental Health serves as your local and public mental health agency continuing to do its part. We all experience mental health challenges, especially during extreme challenging times. It doesn't matter your age, gender, race, or ethnicity. Each person is affected differently. If you're a resident of Charles City, New Kent, or Henrico counties, and you, a family member or friend, or someone you know, may need someone to talk to about the mental health challenges being experienced. Do your part and call us at 804-727-8515. That's 804-727-8515. We're here to help. Remember, mental health is good health. Call Henrico Area Mental Health at 804-727-8515. That number again is 804-727-8515. This message comes to you from Henrico County CSB Prevention Services. 
Well, when the development of Libby Mill Midtown began in 2013, it was viewed as the largest redevelopment project in Henrico County's history and as a gateway project to the county. The mixed-use development was planned to be the first thing visitors would see coming off I-64 at Staples Mill Road or leaving the city of Richmond along the West Broad Street or Staples Mill corridors. And even in spite of the COVID-19 pandemic and several small delays that have impacted the development, so far work on the next phase of Libby Mill has continued without too much issue. Right now on HenricoCitizen.com you can read an in-depth look at the development and what's coming next. Among the new plans, a strip mall that's starting to take place at the former site of a Wells Fargo location, a new apartment building. Work is also continuing on Bethlehem Road adjacent to the property that will expand the road to handle two lanes of traffic each way and add drainage and sidewalks on both sides. It's expected to be completed by the middle of next month. Henrico County Public Schools Community Conversation Series will continue tonight at 6 p.m. as an online panel of HCPS administrators and other staff members address questions from previous panel discussions about school discipline, racism, and support for staff members, students, and parents. Tonight's panel will be the fourth in the series. It'll feature William Noel, the director of the HCPS Student Support and Disciplinary Review Office, Monica Manns, the director of the School Systems Department of Equity, Diversity, and Opportunity, Gente Scott Mayo, a school counselor, and Ashley Waddell, a school social worker. If you'd like to view the event, you can visit henricoschools.us backslash family dash learning dash series. No registration is required.